Hello and welcome! Today we will look at Lenovo Yoga Duet 7 Detachable, a 2-in-1 convertible with plenty of potential. A few weeks back we reviewed ThinkPad X12 Detachable. And yes, just like X12, Yoga Duet 7 is essentially a Windows tablet with a detachable keyboard. Duet 7 is more consumer friendly with some cool features which you cannot find on ThinkPad and are exclusive to Yoga Lina. Many of you requested this review, so you know, naturally, we listen to your feedback. Sit back, relax and enjoy. When you first pick up Duet 7, it kind of feels like, you know, just another Windows tablet. Large bezels around, fairly thick, grey slab of glass and aluminium. But that's only until you attach this folio keyboard. With that, it transforms into pretty much full-fledged laptop, which can handle some serious workload. I mean, you can get it with latest Intel i7 11th gen CPU, 16 gigs of DDR4 RAM, 1 terabyte of PCIe N.2 SSD, and some decent I.O., but more on that later. With this, you don't have to be worried about not having enough horsepower. This thing can handle all kinds of office apps, photo editing, and even some live gaming. And yes, before you ask, Yoga Duet 7 supports Windows 11 thanks to the TPM 2.0 integrated security chip required by Microsoft. In fact, in this review, as you can see, we are running latest Windows 11 Insider Preview. Okay, I'll just say right away, Yoga Duet 7 feels high quality. There is no bending or flexing, tablet feels heavy, but in a good way. Its chassis are built from magnesium alloy. Tablet weights 0.8 kilograms or just under 2 pounds, and together with the keyboard, something over 1 kilo or 2.57 pounds. Yes, hinges aren't as robust as the one on X12, but they're sturdy enough. Keyboard has rounded edges, great for long typing sessions, and it feels very natural to the palm rests. Top of the keyboard is also made of soft touch plastic, which feels very comfortable while typing on it, but bottom of the keyboard, which also serves as a screen cover, is made of fabric, which I think is very nice, it also feels high quality. Now, question is, how will it hold up over time, but it definitely helps this device to differentiate itself from the competition. There are speaker grills on each side for even stereo sound distribution, no matter in which form factor you are using the yoga. And in case you are wondering, that's the main advantage of the detachable. You can use it in many different form factors based on the situation and the need. It can be used as a traditional clamshell laptop for typing or getting some work done. You can use it as a drawing tablet in many different angles thanks to the adjustable kickstand. It can be also used as a tablet for media consumption in the vertical mode to read the book or articles. I mean, this device is as versatile as it gets. It has 13 inch 2K panel with 16 by 10 aspect ratio which has basically became an industry standard in 2021. I'm sure 13 inch doesn't sound like something you could actually use on a daily basis to get some actual work done, but thanks to the extra vertical space at the top and the bottom, you can see more, more lines of your code and more rows of your spreadsheet. Only downside are the black bars while watching the movies and the TV shows, but hey, once you try 16x10 on the laptop, you can't go back to 16x9. This panel is bright enough with 450 nits of brightness and 100% sRGB color accuracy. Needless to say, it is an amazing panel, but unfortunately, the coating is way too reflective, which makes Duet 7 almost unusable outdoors, as you can see here. Of course, it is a detachable, so touch is a default here. I still don't think that Windows, whether we are talking about Windows 10 or 11, are designed for an elegant interaction using just your fingers. If that's what you are looking for, you would be better off with the iPad. But that's a totally different conversation. This, however, should not put you off since this applies on all Windows devices which support touch. Yoga Duet 7 excels 
in what it's made to do so, and that's to get the actual work done while looking and feeling premium. When you buy Duet 7, you will also get this Bluetooth Folio keyboard. It's a full-size keyboard, minus a numpad and arrow keys, similar to the one that comes with the ThinkPad X12. Keyboard can either be attached magnetically to the main unit and these pins, but it also can be used as a wireless keyboard thanks to the Bluetooth. Just flick the switch and you are good to go. Folio keyboard is actually very nice to use. Travel distance is not as good as the one on ThinkPad, which is to be expected, but tactile feedback is still good enough. This is how it sounds. Nice thing about using Folio keyboard is that it's always cool to the touch, since all the internals are in the main tablet unit. Oh, and this keyboard has a three-stage backlit. I mean, look at this illumination. It's just great. In my opinion, backlit keyboard should be a standard in 2021. Downside of this keyboard is that typing angle cannot be adjusted. This was possible with ThinkPad X12, thanks to some additional magnets, but with Duet 7 you are stuck with the flat angle only. As for the trackpad, it's fairly spacious, responsive, and overall I have no complaints. Windows trackpads are getting better and larger by each year. Just like with X12, Yoga Duet 7 comes with this Lenovo digital pen. And Lenovo even includes AAA batteries, which is always nice. Included pen supports 4096 pressure points. I mean, it's okay to use, but if you ever used Apple Pencil on iPad Pro, you know that's a completely different league. Well, it is also much more expensive. Main issues are the high latency and the refresh rate on the panel, which is locked to 60 Hz. Also, screen is a bit slippery, but that can be easily fixed by applying matte screen protector. In conclusion, it's a good enough experience for an average user who needs to sign a PDF from time to time, but I would not recommend it to a professional illustrators and artists. If you have ever planning to do a lot of drawing and handwriting with your Duet 7, I would recommend to look around for other Lenovo pens, which are much nicer and perform better. One thing to point out, there is no pen holder on Duet 7. We would love to see some magnetic attachment or something simple and functional. Audio is actually decent on this device, but there is a catch. Speakers perform well up to 50% of the volume. If you go beyond that, audio will start distorting and overall quality just drops. I'm not sure if this is a form factor limitation or what, but if you're planning to use these without headphones on loud and crowded places, I would not recommend to do so. IO is a typical 2021 mix of Thunderbolt 4 with 2 times USB Type-C 3.2. This allows you to, for example, transform this tablet into a proper workstation with a 4K screen, full power delivery, decent keyboard and mouse. Once you're done, all you need to do is to unplug one single cable and you are good to go. Next, because this is a LTE version, we have a SIM card slot. If you get a non-LTE version, you will get a SD card reader instead, which is always nice. On the side, we have a volume rocker, which is not only useful while using Duet 7 as a tablet, but I just prefer it over a keyboard shortcut or Windows taskbar menu. And yeah, there is an audio jack. Do people still use these? For this video, we have tested two configurations, and in order to be able to compare results with other laptops accurately, we ran all the benchmarks on latest Windows 10 build, not Windows 11 beta. We have tested more powerful i7 with 16GB of RAM and more sensible i5 with 8GB of RAM. Feel free to pause the video at any point to have a closer look at the results. At PC Mark 10 benchmark, we can clearly see that AMD has their upper hand here, even over i7 version of Duet 7. In 3D Mark, we ran Firestrike and Time Spy. i7 version did better than i5, but Yoga Slim 713 with Ryzen 5 CPU is a clear winner here. AMD is dominating on Cinebench R23 too. Same story for Geekbench 5. 
And the same goes for Blender Benchmark, where we run the BMW 27 test. Right, I think it's pretty clear that the synthetic benchmark shows us is that i7 is simply too powerful for this form factor and was throttled more significantly over i7. As for the fan noise, Duet 7 can get loud under heavy load, but it's nothing major. Duet 7 comes with 65 watts compact USB-C charger. Lenovo claims up to 12.3 hours of local video playback but what about the real life use we managed to get roughly between four to five hours while actively using duet 7 for work and entertainment the main competitor is of course microsoft surface pro 7 if you want to learn about main differences between the Yoga Duet 7, ThinkPad X12 and Microsoft Surface Pro 7, make sure to check out our X12 review linked down below. I mean, look, Duet 7 is far from perfect, but it has a lot going for. Yes, fabric material might look cool, but I'm sure that after some time it will get dirty and you won't be able to simply wipe it off like you would with a metal finish. There is nowhere to safely store the pen and keyboard typing angle cannot be adjusted. There are many similarities between ThinkPad X12 and Yoga Duet 7 but they are both aiming on different end users. On the other hand, if you get the sensible i5 version, which is still plenty powerful, you still get the included folio keyboard and the pen. With Microsoft Surface, you're just getting a tablet and pen and the keyboard are extra. I mean, from this perspective, Yoga Duet 7 is a pretty good deal. You also have option to choose from LTE or Wi-Fi version only. Yoga Duet 7 is a worthy opponent for Microsoft Surface and does many things better. If you are looking for a premium and powerful versatile device, which is also well built and looks great, you can't go wrong with Duet 7. Well, there you have it. A Windows detachable that doesn't suck. If you want to see more videos like this one, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching and we will see you in the next one.